Juju, Coach Beam was just in here talking about needing to play more consistent winning football. Um, just from an offensive standpoint, from an individual standpoint, what can you and this offense do to play more down-to-down -down winning football? I can just be more consistent, you know. Like, that's really uh, a majority of the problem, you know, that I feel like I have, you know. Just consistency, you know. Coach, they, they come up with a, with a great game plan every week, you know. It just it's up to us to go out there and manifest it. You, how disappointing was it? You had a big crowd today, and Georgia was able to take them out early, and then a lot of them went home after that. How disappointing was that? Uh, it was extremely disappointing, you know, because we put so much into it day in and day out to go out there and that to be the end result. But uh, at the same token, you know, um, I cherish those moments, and I'm extremely proud and thankful for the – 80,000 that did show up, you know, because they didn't have to, you know. But, uh, yeah, it was extremely disappointing. Uh, yeah, Drew, you guys were able to make some plays uh, kind of here and there, you know, 10, 15 yards, whatever the case may be, but kind of struggled to finish drives. I guess what does it take to, you know, finish a drive against not just Georgia, but really any team to on third down or whatever the case may be? Um, consistency, maintaining focus. Uh, not giving in, you know. Um, really, the biggest thing I could just say is just um, being conscious of your training, you know, not forgetting what you did throughout the week to get you to that point, you know, because coach puts you in those positions for a reason, you know. Obviously, they see something. They feel like you see something. So it's just up to us to make a play. Hey, Juju. Uh, all of you guys who've come in here have talked about, you know, needing to be more consistent as a team, you know, what can change to, to make you guys more consistent? Like, what do you think the, the disconnect right now is that's keeping you guys from reaching that? Um, hmm, that's a good question. Honestly, I feel like it's, you know, personal, internal leadership, you know, type. Uh, not even just guys stepping up um, to other guys, you know, guys stepping up internally for each other, you know, having those conversations mentally, you know, just being able to deal with things on your own and having that transition to be able to be a leader to the rest of the team, you know. Um, kind of to that, do you think there's been a leadership vacuum with how many older players have gotten hurt this early in the year? And if so, how do players kind of step into those roles, like you're saying? Uh, honestly, I don't think there's been a, a vacuum. Um, We've had injuries, but I don't think that, that that deducts from the leadership in the room, you know. I feel like we still have the same amount of leadership. Uh, yeah, myself included, there are some younger guys that we're trying to get along to help fulfill, you know, that role of leadership to help the older guys out, you know, but I don't feel like there's a vacuum at all. Do you, when you when you lose a game like this, how do you go about yourself personally as a team, just sort of moving on from it mentally? Do you, do you flush it? Do you use it as motivation for next week? I mean, how do you kind of approach a loss like this and, and being able to move forward? Honestly, you know, of course you um, you go back and look at the mistakes or whatever from the game, but uh, honestly, me personally, how you recover from a loss. You got about 30 minutes, honestly. From the time you get in the locker room, from the time you shower. And once you shower, you should watch all of that. You know, like me personally, after the game, I pray, I see my people, I talk to coach, I talk to my players. And whatever happened them three hours ago is dead. Like, you can't turn around and go back to it. So the more you relish on that, the worse off the rest of the season is going to be. So like I said, I feel like, it's just those 30 minutes. That's it. If you take it past 30 minutes, you're doing nothing but deconstructing the team. Juju kind of sticking with that, but this is the third straight game to start the year where the rushing attacks failed to kind of get off the ground consistently. Just how do you and the rest of that group kind of avoid frustration setting in there and manifesting that through the last nine games? Trust. Trust. Like, trusting each other, the coaches, the game plan, you know, because 
I'm sure you guys see it a lot of the times. You know, a lot of the universities, facilities over the country, uh, they might do good a couple of games. They might have a terrible couple of games, but they lose trust, and the rest of the season just goes to shambles. You know what I'm saying? Like, the more we maintain trust, the more you realize that you're not that far off from where you want to be. You know what I'm saying? Thank you.